Hi everyone, I wanted to make another follow-up video about the catch can setup for my BMW X5M. Um, this probably applies to the E70 or F85 variants as well because they somewhat have similar motors. Um, so if I talk about conditions, and I think I did talk about conditions in my previous video as well. Um, so basically ever since I bought the truck, it would smoke. Um, now. It would mostly smoke after a long idle or in some cases it would smoke right after maybe idling for 30 seconds or so and um, no smoke on cold start and it would smoke um, also when you're sort of decelerating and you're about to accelerate so maybe when the pressure within the crankcase would change from from I think negative to positive it would it would suck in oil into the into the intake or something along those lines um, <clears throat> I could not figure it out it took me a while I tried to um, replace the OEM factory intake boots that have the CCV system or check valve integrated into it um, but I I maybe ended up with a <laughs> with a faulty brand new um, intake boots um, I figured that out until I took it off and, and actually tried to blow into the check valves and you know they were not able to stop any flow at all um, long story short I had the truck like that for almost about a year until I decided that I'm going to change the check valves and put in some aftermarket ones uh, what I ended up going with were with these uh, UPR um, check valves. These are rated for 0 to 100 PSI, but that's mostly positive pressure, um, not negative pressure. And, and how the system in the BMW S63 is desi designed, they're, they're kind of negative positive check valves, uh, or I don't know if they're adjustable. But um, but what happened with these check valves that I had? Let me show you. There are there are four check valves in the system. So I had two different types. This is a newer variant from UPR that has a that has a spring and a ball inside it that that holds pretty good. Um, but I guess it did not work for my use case because on idle there is negative pressure. Um, in the crankcase and as soon as you're off of idle then negative pressure uh, switches over to positive pressure um, Now if I talk a little bit about How the CCV system is designed in the BMW S63 so within the valve covers uh, You have an oil separator what that does is that separates vapor from oil and throws that vapor back into the system um, so it's burnt off and in some, in some cases that vapor will eventually sort of cake on your um, intake valves uh, because this is a direct injection motor um, and a lot of people recommend getting walnut blasting done to clean those up but anyhow that's another topic um, so what I ended up doing now is first I'll actually put put in a small video here showing you what was the truck doing when it was on those UPR check valves um, and there are four check valves just before I drop in the video let me let me tell you that so there's a check valve right here this is connected to the intake boot um, this only allows um, this is so this is a factory one, so this kind of allows multi-direction flow. Um, it will allow negative um, pressure and positive as well, depending on whether you're on um, idle or you're on boost. Um, but to how I had put in the UPR valves was only one direction, that this was basically coming out of the valve cover and going into the intake boot. And these two are check valves as well right here. Um, these only allow again one direction as well so this is going from the valve cover or the oil separator to the intake manifold this is bank one and this is bank two um, now this connection is on bank two 
there's no connection on bank one. Bank one is straight um, coming out of the intake boot and going into the valve cover or the oil separator. Um, so this is how I have it set up right now. But before I go into that, let me show you a video of um, when I had the UPR valves um, set up. Okay, so now coming back to the setup, if you can see in that video what the condition was, it ran fine. It did not smoke at all. No smoke on idle, no smoke on uh, under boost, under load, uh, no smoke on startup either. But the only downside was there was so much negative pressure in the crankcase that was very tough to remove um, the oil fill cap. And if you could hear the the squealing or chirping type noise from underneath the car. Uh, it sounds like a, as if the belt is slipping, but it's not actually the belt. It's actually the crankcase sucking in air through the front main seal, um, which is probably okay for a few instances or a few times when you're running, but over a longer period, um, that will wear out your front main seal a lot quicker than, you know, than it would. So anyway, so I wasn't happy with how it was running, although it ran fine, but but I wasn't happy about the, the squealing and chirping noise. So I ended up going back to the stock um, or factory check valves. Now, if you see the setup right here, okay, let me try to explain right here. So I have two uh, um, catch can setup right here. Um, this is for my bank two, this is for my bank one. This is the inlet. So this hose is coming um, from the oil separator, uh, which is going all the way down in there. If you see right, it should be right there. So it's coming from there, all the way from here, and into the inlet of the catch can. And then this is the outlet. It's coming all the way over there, and then into the intake boot. <clears throat> now typically, the check valve that is there on bank one is right here. Uh, on the intake boot, but I had to kind of make do because when I bought the brand new replacements from Turner Motorsports, uh, they did not return the faulty ones because they wanted a report from a technician explaining that the check valves are bad. But since I was doing a DIY myself, I could not really produce a report. So, long story short, what I had to do was I had to use. Um, um, check valves from both check valves from bank two um, because I did not have any other way. I only had two good check valves from bank two. So what I did is I cut it up right here and then I cut it up right before the other check valves and I used it right about there. So if you see, I have it connected on on uh, um, on bank one intake boot right here and the line goes all the way there and I have a check valve right about there and then this goes back. Um, into uh, my catch can. Uh, similarly, uh, this one is the inlet. So this is coming from um, the oil separator on bank two, um, all the way from in there. It's connected over there and comes through here into the catch can and then out is this line. Um, this then connects to um, 
both banks uh, intake manifolds and it also connects to the intake boot on bank two now um, it's been running perfect um, knock on wood <laughs> um, that that it does not smoke when idle it does not smoke after um, idling for a little bit does not smoke on cold start and does not smoke on on deceleration or acceleration um, at any point um, it could potentially be that how I had set it up before I had probably small leaks in lines uh, that I could not get to or I could not figure out but what I ended up doing was um, I started using these single ear um, clips that are that are used with a specific plier that kind of closes it up although they're kind of one-time use but I'm certain by the fact that you know once they seal they seal very good details so these hoses are um, 5 8 of an inch hose or 16 millimeter um, I when I was setting this up I had I think bought um, a roll of 10 feet if I'm not wrong and that kind of covered the whole system um, and I did not buy any branded or expensive um, catch cans I just went with the very cheap ones off of Amazon because I wanted to try the system out first before I can invest um, in an actual good quality Mishimoto or or Radiant or any good ones um, so there was, this was just a trial mode you know setup for me before actually dropping money on this but this has been working fine so I don't really think I have to go to a branded um, catch can um, I think I'm happy with how it is at the moment um, so yeah I will try to drop in links of all the <clears throat> all the things that I bought like for example the hoses uh, the the catch cans um, or the single ear um, clamps that I've used or clips that I've used and um, and yeah uh, I think it's this is pretty much about it and I'm happy about the fact that I, I went the UPR route because that kind of gave me an option to now go back to factory and then you know be fine with it because I wasn't happy with smoking for a very long time. I mean, everything runs fine, everything is good about the truck, but when it comes to smoking or or how it ran, I just did not like smoke. I did not like the idea of a puff of smoke every time I took off in traffic or I stood at a stoplight or red light. I, I just did not like that. So um, I'm happy that it worked out. So I'll be returning the UPR check valves and I'll be sticking to how the system is at the moment. Um, all right, let me know if you have any questions or comments and please subscribe for more content. Thank you.